Mary Magdalene stars Rooney Mara, Joaquin Phoenix, Chiwetel Ejiofor, and it tells the story of Mary Magdalene, who is a woman from the small town of Magdala in the year 33 AD when Judah was under the control of the Roman Empire. She begins to follow Jesus Christ of Nazareth, which is the, fo the founder of Christianity, and this causes conflict with the other male disciples, including Saint Peter. And throughout this whole movie, her basically this movie is telling a story from her point of view. And if she decides to follow Jesus all the way to the crucifixion, that's basically what we're looking at here. A, another biblical drama. But this time, based on the woman of the same name, written by Helen Edmondson and Philippa Goslett, and basically from the Bible. I'm into Bible movies, so I was curious about this. And then when I looked at the cast, Rooney Mara and Joaquin Phoenix, and I was I was excited for it. It's from the same the, the guy who directed the movie Lion, which I'm sure I gotta look that up. But this movie I thought was I thought this was pretty a great film. Now I do have to say that two hours is not enough time to fully tell the story that. They were trying to tell, and I was I was expecting this movie to at least be two hours and twenty one minutes or something like that, but no, they got straight to the point in two hours, and I'm like, wow, that quick though, because I do feel like we could have gotten a lot more going on here than what what we were seeing, but I'm not gonna lie and say that. I can't help but say I did enjoy some parts, enjoy a lot of what this movie was doing. You see the struggle and you see what the choices that Mary Magdalene, this character, goes through in this film. And that's why I really appreciate it about it. Um, the acting in this movie is great. Rooney Mara is no exception. Like I said, you've, she's risen above from the Nightmare on Elm Street remake because she hated doing that movie. Um, and then got nominated for an Oscar with The Dragon Tattoo with Dave Fincher, which the sequel is coming out in October, but she's not in it, and nor is Daniel Craig. It's more recasted, but it's not a reboot. It is a sequel. Um, Childo is a four. He's okay in this movie. He's okay in this movie. The, he is a great actor, but he's okay as Peter. D the rest of the cast is either unknown, is unknown, or I never heard of it. So, so, you do get some great directing in this movie. Some great acting here. The music in here is really great. Especially from Johan Johansson and... Hidor Gorn Gorn not not Deuter. And this was also the last movie for composer Johan Johansson in here. But I will say that I enjoyed some enjoyed the movie a lot. A forty two percent I think is a little too low. I think this is an underrated one of the we looking at at the year. It may not be as great as other Bible movies, but it's not one of the worst Bible films I've seen. You got some great performances. You got some good, good, good editing. Got some good cinematography, and I really loved seeing this the story. Mary Magdalene's story being told from her point her point of view and Rooney Mara does sell you as this as Mary Magdalene. I will give Mary Magdalene a highly recommended.
I'm not going to say too much more about it except watch it. Let me know what you guys think about Mary Magdalene down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What is your favorite Bible film? Is it The Passion of the Christ? Is it The Ten Commandments? Let me know. And I'll see you guys later. This is Future Filmmaker Drive for Zero, and you guys keep it cool.